Dear farmers, uh, welcome for a quick update on what is happening on the melon farm. So we have uh, fruits currently, different sizes. Some are already past the melon fly attack or they're not uh, so susceptible to the attack. While others are still at the stage where we really need to prevent the melon fly. So I'll just show you how we, the, the fruits that we have, uh, different stages at, in this bed. So you look at this, this size, this size is still susceptible to, to the melon fly attack. So we're still uh, controlling the melon fly. And then uh, on my right, we have this size. So this size is currently not susceptible to melon fly attack. So it, the, the, the rind is hard. So the melon fly is, cannot easily deposit the eggs in this fruit. And then uh, we also have this fruit here. So this is almost uh, 400 grams. Is also not susceptible to melon fly attack. So we expect by the end of this week, then this fruit will be about, uh, say, 1.5 kilos. And also this will be the size of uh, that. So it will be about 400 grams. So we've already watered. So what is so key now is actually watering. So we've actually now changed our watering pattern. So we are watering after every three days. Initially, we were watering after every four or five days. So to ensure that we, we balloon the fruits uh, faster. So we, we, we actually, uh, I think for, for the melon flies, we are, we are well off. We, the traps have uh, trapped several flies and the spray pattern is unique and is just fine. So we expect farmers to also have their inputs on what you're doing in your farm. Uh, if you have this size of fruit, then you tell us maybe your nutrition program, your crop rotation program, and if there's any other agronomy ac activity that you are doing that we have not incorporated here, so that we can all learn. Thank you so much. God bless you.